Hello, and welcome to the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Arts and Crafts Show. We're at the Rockefeller Center Gym, and we're going to take you on a tour of all the many crafters that are here for the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. They're from all points of the country, and they have some really neat things. I've already looked at them, so we're going to talk to some of the crafters and take you on a little tour of what's happening here in the gym at Rockefeller Center. And our first gentleman, Sorry. He was busy. He's, there's some of them are still setting up. That's quite all right. And your name, sir? Uh, my name is Chris Taylor. And where are you from, Chris? Uh, we're from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Have you been here before? No, this is the first time. Oh, welcome. Welcome. You have some really neat things. Do you do the crafting yourself? Well, no, actually, I'm just sort of the, uh, the I'm just sort of the helper. Melissa, who right there, Melissa Walters, the person who uh -huh. comes to this, the okay. business, and she does all this handmade. She paints all the things. Oh, they're beautiful. She personalizes if people want to buy something and put names and dates and mm -hmm. things like that, and she hand paints that in about 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, they're really after nice. After the painting's purchased. And so, yeah, she came up yesterday and set all this up, and I came up later this evening and sort of helped her get everything finished, and now we're finished up. Now, there she is right there, actually, Melissa. Hi, they're hi. interviewing crafters, and you know, more than I Melissa, do. right? Yes, yep. And you're, tell us again where you're from. Parkersburg. Parkersburg, and this is your first trip here? Yes, it's my oh, first trip Welcome. Here. Thank you. And if speak up and tell folks who you are and where you're located if somebody sees something here and they might like to get in touch with sure. you. Sure. I'm Melissa Walters. The name of my business is Personally Primitive. I do a lot of personalizations if you want your name on things, family names, a lot of grandparent, grandkids, and as soon as you come in the door you can see me. I have painted windows and a lot of wedding stuff, mm -hmm. like all because two people fell in love, happiness is being married to your best friend, and then you personalize it with names and dates. Well, we appreciate you coming to the Strawberry Festival. Don't be so busy you don't enjoy a little bit of the festival. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> looking forward time. to that tonight. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. And what is your name? Peggy Hire. Peggy Hire, where are you from? Rock Cave. Oh, you're from here locally? Yes. So you're familiar with the Strawberry Festival? Yes. Have you done this before? No, this is our first year. Oh, really? Yeah. And tell us if somebody's watching the program and they see something they like, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, they can give us a call at area code 304. 924-5264. Okay, and you're, are you, do you have a store or no, out of your home? No, we're just doing our home. Okay, well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Here's some neat things. Thank you. I think we need to get a picture of this. Pretty we nice. got it. That's neat. That is. I have a bench like that. I love primitive things, and she has some food. Hello there. We're doing some uh, television work for our local access channel. So could you speak up and tell us who you are and where you're from? This is my husband Earl and I'm Bonnie. We're uh, from Marlington, West Virginia. Marlington? Okay. Is this your first trip here? This is our fifth year. So you must like it. Yes. Do you get to take in a little of the festival? Yes, we go to the Fireman's Parade. We don't get to see the one on Saturday, of course. Because we're here. We do have uh, possibilities of getting those if you're interested in, in doing that once it's filmed. So, you have a lot of nice jewelry. Do you have a store in Marlington? I have uh, some of my stuff in the shop at Snowshoe. Okay. And uh, this is all handcrafted. I make it all. Work. Beautiful work. It's all original designs. Mm -hmm. And it has very affordable prices. That's always good in today's economy. Do you carry earrings that are not pierced? Yes, I do. I may have to come back. I have clip earrings. Okay. I, I like hoops, but and I'll any come of the dangles I can change hoops. over to. Were you by any chance up at the maple syrup festival? At Pickens, yes, I was. I'm wearing your earrings. <laughs> we like that. Not today, but I have them. Yes, and I'd, I'd like to have another pair. We got lots. I'll of, be back. We have lots of hoops. Good, that's what I need. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. This is exhibit number 20, and I'm trying to find out where they're from. Maybe we can just get some pictures. There's some nice little um, plaques and things here. 
There's a coal miner's prayer and a firefighter's prayer. Across the years, I will walk with you in deep green forests and shores of sand. And when our time on earth is through, in heaven too, you will have my hand. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. If you'll speak up and tell us your names and where you're from, we're filming locally here. Okay. Oh, let Vera go. I'll Vera Gordon. Good on I'm from Logan, West Virginia. From Logan. Is yes. this your first time here? As a vendor, yes. As a vendor. Mm -hmm. So you're familiar with Strawberry Festival. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've done some. Tell us what you're doing over there. Let's get a picture of the wall there. And is that all kinds of ribbon, or what are you using that there? That is a mixture of ribbon and mesh, poly mesh. I've not seen anything like this before. Yeah, that's new. Um, they, you've got wreaths with. This uh, one is beautiful right you. here. Yeah, that's poly mesh. That's uh -huh. something that's come out in the last year, and they've got the, they're coming out with more colors. What does something like this cost? Uh, a wreath like that, mm -hmm. the, that would usually cost you around sixty. Um, I have seen most wreaths run. $97. Those are just really unusual. Yes. And of course we've got our tarts and our candles. All kinds of candles. And you also have, these are the sweet tarts. Yes. And those are nice and smelly in your house. Yes. <laughs> Can and you put these, some people have seen them in like little water gardens. Charlotte, do you, sometimes you have these, with, well maybe I'm thinking of the candles, the tarts. You don't, do you do the little candles that you can put in the water gardens? Uh, These, are the tarts. These are the tarts just to smell up your mm -hmm. room or they whatever. Go in the burner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Neat. Neat. And then we, we do t-shirts too. Okay. Right there on the other side. Uh, onesies for children. Look at their tree down here, Dennis. Oh yeah, I missed it. That's there it is. Hello, how are you? Very neat. You do? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. You're sitting there like you're the owner of this nice display. <laughs> Would you call these primitives? Yes. Primitives. And what is your name? Struble. But our business name is Wood Creations PA LLC. Wood Creations, and where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Have you been here before? No, ma'am. This is your first time. We've yes. got a lot of first timers. We're hoping you get to enjoy a little bit of the festival. Yeah. Hope so. Yeah. We have some really nice things. And if somebody, uh, you have cards here. Yes, I do. If you, if somebody were interested, um, it's called Wood Creations in Pennsylvania. is from Pennsylvania. And you have outdoor lawn furniture and crafts. That's yeah, actually the outdoor lawn furniture was our, is our specialty, really, I mean, but it's come to the point where it's too heavy for him mm -hmm. and I, but if somebody wants something, I do a swivel glider chair, oh my goodness. it glides and swivels the whole way around. I Wonderful. Use, I give give everybody like, your phone number. Yeah, there's a cell phone on there. I don't have a house okay. phone, just a cell phone. Okay. And, well, uh, can you get that, Dennis? I usually sell over 200 of those swivel glider chairs a year. And how much do they sell for? Two hundred and ten dollars. Well, that's not bad. And it's all pressure treated, grade number one select lumber. Well, if somebody calls, we'll know where to send them. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, Enjoy you're your welcome. time. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is this the husband? Yes, this Did is the husband. Did you not want to get on the camera? <laughs> I, I was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you help make these things, I would bet? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We, we work hard at what we do. I can he, tell you. He this. actually makes the stuff, and I like paint, decorate. Whatever. Wonderful. We did work you, together. Did you get a few pictures there, Dennis? Yes, of their I did. Work? Okay. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. Appreciate your focus. Alright, we're, we're working on some filming here for Local Access TV3 and just want to talk to some of the folks. This is Cat Jewels, is that the name of your business? It sure is. And who are you? Tammy King. Tammy King. Where are you all from? Morgantown. Morgantown? Yes. Is this your first time here? No, I was no. here last year. Did you enjoy it? Uh, very much so. Oh, good. I hope you get time to enjoy a few things festival. 
Oh, we You're going to be busy. <laughs> yes. We oh, look, it's the old typewriter. 19, it's a 1926 Underwood, and it was the first year that um, they made typewriters with 84 characters, and the first time that it was made, and you also had a choice of black mm -hmm. or red ink, mm -hmm. and you just switch it. But it's a functioning piece. And people don't know how to use them. No, and, and <laughs> this one I won't take apart, but... These are keys, pendants, oh, necklaces that are made from antique typewriter. Isn't that unusual? Yeah. Very nice. And my, all the items, and then on this here? mirror here, those I cut from vinyl records. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's some really creative folks here today. And then we, I have zippers over there, the zipper oh, yeah. necklaces. I've made those from zippers. <laughs> Very nice. Com Very nice. And I have the insides of computers and watches that I've turned into wearable art. It's a really neat nice idea. idea. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. No, we used to have a typewriter like that in our family. I, I have it's one. It's disappeared. Oh. I have one. Yeah, Mine's a royal, I believe. Okay. Good morning. Hi there. Aren't I'm, you Miss? Be are you Baselli? I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you're Becky and Bethany's. That's mom. right. I am. Uh, we we meet up usually every year at yes, one of these. Yes. You have a lot of things that you have, and you tell us a little bit about where you're from and what you do. Okay. Um, Basili Pasta is based in Elkins, West Virginia, and um, we have 14 flavors of um, flavored pasta. We do a pasta chip um, that is garlic, a pasta chip that is sweet. We do meatball mix, um, two kinds of sauces, and we do a pesto and alfredo mix. Oh, this is neat. You just put that in your sauce and that gives it a lot of... Well, you can put it in your sauce or you can... Um, we are tasting today actually a pasta salad made with our pasta soup noodles, which are the little pieces of Let pasta. Let me ask you a question, and I've never even asked Bethany this. <clears throat> Do you have any of these that are wheat gluten-free? We are working on a gluten-free. Okay. We have not. We have a whole wheat. A whole wheat. But we don't have a gluten free yet, but we are That'll working on that. That'll be wonderful when yes, you get it, that done because yes. there's a lot of people that love it and, and can't mm -hmm. have it. So. Actually, I did get the flour and everything I needed. Well, good. From, Won't from Bethany, be long then. So. Yes, and we are tasting our meatballs today mm -hmm. with um, Alfredo, and we are going to be tasting pasta salad made with our soup noodles that and would be, the pesto yeah, that would be good. as a seasoning. Okay, well, so thank you for around. coming. Okay, thank you. Good morning. How are you? And what is your name? My name is Lee Epperson. Lee Epperson, where are you from, Lee? I'm from Elkins. From Elkins. Have you been here before? No, this no. is my first time. We've got a lot of first time folks, yeah. and it's wonderful. We like to have everybody to come in and show what they do. Do you make all of these yourself? I don't make it. I work for Just Story. It's a direct home sales company. Okay. Would well, you like it to looks, see them? We have some really pretty things here. Thank you. It's all uniquely designed by the founders of the company. Okay. So they design it, and then we get to sell it. And you get to homes, sell it. Which is fun. <laughs> and if you love jewelry, it's a great job. <laughs> I guess it would be. Well, I used to sell shoes, so you know what uh, I have. <laughs> yes. See, that would be my next favorite job. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, aren't these pretty? Look at the skirts. Wow. That's a nice price on that. That's not bad at all. They have tie-dyed skirts and tie-dyed shirts. Uh, I'm set up. Yours? Yeah, but I'm set up with Granny's ad. Okay. So. Well, and, and who are you? Becky Smith. Uh, Becky Smith. Just tell us where you're from, Becky. French Creek. French Creek. So you're local. Yeah. Have you done this before? Yeah. I saw them in... Um, the shop, the, your daughter's shop. Bethany's shop? Bethany's shop okay. at once. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's a very reasonable price you have on your skirts. Do you yeah. have a lot a, of them? Or uh, just, not a lot of skirts, just, just more of the t-shirts. Do you like tie-dyed? There you go. Come to Rockefeller Gym. We're here on uh, Friday and Saturday, and you can come over, and I believe you're open till 7 tomorrow seven. night. 
So now's the time to come over and, and look at everything. And if you missed it and you didn't come, you'll have to wait till next year, right, right. Dennis? That's correct. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is this one yours too? No, she's right there. She's behind. Uh huh. She's right here. working. <laughs> Hello. What is your name? Sarah. Abel. You're Sarah Abel. I'm yeah. you from Sarah. Granny's attic. Granny's attic. I was by here a little bit ago, and I think you have some really neat things. Where are you located? Um, we are located on the four lane towards Elkins, off of Keystone and Mill exit. So, it's or I mean, gosh, I lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> off um, Hardman Road exit. Hardman Road yeah. exit, toward Elkins. Yeah, it's the next exit past Keystone. Okay, Mill. and you've been here before. No, we haven't. Oh, you haven't no, been this here. This is our first okay. year at this show. Maybe you were. At we the were at the middle school. You? At the middle yes. school. I knew I'd seen you before. Yep. You got all kinds of neat things. We appreciate you coming. Well, thank you, you very time. much. She will love it. You're welcome to take one of my cars. We got to talk to this bottle lady. <laughs> we can do that. I want to talk to the bottle lady. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. Is this your first trip here to Buckhannon? Yes. Yes. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yep. So, are you having a good time? Oh, this is great. I hope you get to take in a little of the festival while you're here. Okay, we did um, a little bit yesterday, and everybody is so friendly here. It's so nice. That's just one of the things we hear from everybody. It's wonderful. This is my husband, Bill. Hi, Bill. Nice to meet That's you. That's why we're called Belinda's Bottles. It's Bill and Linda put oh, together. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Well, we think these are really neat. Thank you. And Thank we you. hope you have a good time and hope you come back next year. Look at the little characters sure down here. You've got them for the children's rooms, too. Yes. yes. That is so neat. Thank you. <laughs> and these are made of bottles also. Yeah, they're oh, all yeah. bottles. Uh huh. What kind of bottles? Wine bottles. They're just basic wine bottles. It's my job to empty them, <laughs> Well, now, uh, no, I wasn't going to ask that question. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask that question. Uh, we actually buy them from a winery, so they, they stay out of the landfill. That's, that's, a, that's, wonder, our, that's yeah. a wonderful yeah. idea. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So it is all recycled, which is Well, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh-huh. Happy to be here, really. We want another bottle. Okay, <laughs> Shirley, which one? <laughs> Hello, oh, Donna. How are you? Good. How are you? And you? <laughs> Class reading and meeting next Wednesday at my house at oh. 6 30. Good morning. How are you? Do I know you? No. <laughs> How are you? You got your little ones out this morning. I, I just tag along. You tag along. Yeah. I have lost a lady that's working this. I have no idea where she's here. Yeah, I'll tell you the story. Let's put this on here. Are you the lady that has this? Just want to talk to you a second. We're from the local Access Channel 3 here in Buckhannon. I just want to get your name and your business and where you're from. Well, my name is Tina Harmon. My business is Chi Chi Beads. Chi Chi Beads? Yes. And that is sort of a word for jewelry. It's a uh -huh. slang word for jewelry. Okay. And where are you from? Petersburg. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. Have you been here before? No. So we've just got all kinds of new crafters today. You having a good time? I sure am. Take in some of the festival while you're here. I hope so, but I don't have anybody here to relieve me. My uh, husband bailed on me. Well, now, so. don't you close about 7 this evening? Yes. Come to the party gras tonight down oh, on Main okay. Street. Okay. It's I'm free. i do that. It's free. Okay. Have a good time. Thank you. Hello, dear. How are you doing? I'm fine. We need to talk to this lady right here because she's going to help you with your arthritis. Yes. How about that, Dennis? That'll work for me. <laughs> hey, and I have a new product. This is awesome. <laughs> what is your name? Michelle. Michelle, and where Michelle. are you from? Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Well, that's the farthest nine, one away so far. Nine and a half hours away. Oh, and this is your first time here? My seventh. The seventh time, so you've had a good wow. time. Yeah, yeah, I've had a good time. Do you Welcome ever get back. to take in any of the festival events? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, sometimes. you close yes. at 7 this evening, so, so I come might. to the Part de Gras downtown okay. on Main Street. It's okay. 9 to midnight and it's free. Oh, okay, good. We Super. have to see you down there. Okay, I'll be down. Thank you. Hi. I'll let you go ahead and work if you just speak up loudly and tell us who you are. My name is Brenda Hawk, originally from Clarksburg, 
Cleveland. I now live in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. Is this your first trip here? First trip here, yes. Are you having a good time? So far, so well, good. good. I've been telling these other ladies they need to close up tonight at 7 and come downtown on Main Street to the party drop. I'm going to be so tired. <laughs> That's when you need to relax and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I talked with you a while ago. What is your name? I'm Kathy Henry. Kathy Henry, and your name? Janine Holzman. And you make all these Hand beautiful scarves. scarves. So I how long them. does it take to do one scarf? Start to finish, it's about seven days. Five day process. Five to seven, so, depending on how long you let okay, them sit. Do, do you hand paint them or do you hand put them in dyes? So let's take with this one right here. Hand paint with a brush. Look at this, Dennis. Each one of these Beautiful. different, and hold up the green one, design. Isn't this gorgeous? Earlier when we were walking around, you guys said that you start with a white scarf. Everything's yes. white. Mm -hmm. Everything's white. white. This is all, all the silk is white when we start. And then we hand paint them. So you do this every day? Oh, Just about every day? Pretty much. <laughs> You'd have to well, have this many. Well, you have them in different or another. You know, yeah. like right now I, at home I have like eight that are on frames mm -hmm. and, and, and you work and I've on done the time. hand I've done the designing on them. Well this so, is different. Look at this. And them and set them. So when we get home, I will paint. You know, because you yeah, do this they're first beautiful. And let it dry. Have you been here before? No, this I is didn't our think first so. Year. And, and where again are you from? Pocahontas County. Pocahontas County. Do you have a business or do you Many work out of Springs? I am um, home. Out of my home, and also I'm in the Artisans Guild okay. too. So we have some at the Art Co-op. Well, it's nice of you to come and try to enjoy the festival. I've been telling the others tonight's party gras, free downtown after you close. Okay. Come and have a good time. I want to have a good time. Thank you. Some strawberries. <laughs> right here. Hello. Did you talk to us just a minute? Well, now this lady's already ready for the festival. She's got <laughs> Strawberry Festival apron on. What is your name? Janet Davis. Janet, and where are you from, Janet? Brooks Hill. Brooks Hill, so you're close by. Is this a, something you've done before here? I've never done it here You've before. never done this, it? This is a new experience okay. for are me. Are you having a good time? So far, so good, well, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for coming. You've got all kinds of jams and jellies, and, and I'm assuming this, now is this? And soup mixes. You have soup mixes, so you can come in, all you have water. All you do is all add, you add water. water, and you can get you a, a whole bunch of soup here, $5. Well, they're different prices, but I see mostly 5 and $6 on them. Yeah, those are uh, cookie. Here's your cookie. oatmeal raisin and spice cookies. Wonderful. If you're missing this arts and crafts, you're really missing a good thing. You need to come over. If it's shown tonight, it might be. We might get it on tonight if you get it over there in time. <laughs> if we can get it on TV before festival is over, it would be great. Because yeah. that gives everybody a chance on Saturday. Isn't it 10 to 7 tomorrow as well? <clears throat> There's a lot of things here, so we want you to come out. Have a good time. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. And what is your name? Joetta Stephen. Joanna. Joetta. Joetta, Joetta Stephen. And where are you from? Fairmont. Fairmont. Uh -huh. You've been here before. Yes, we have. I've, I've visited yes, you we've last been year. in this corner for quite some time. I, I saw, I'm assuming your husband yes, is uh -huh. here. We yes. talked earlier this morning. And okay, you said he this said is several that years. Yeah. Yes. So you have Could you hold your sign up, please? <clears throat> oh, my. This is. That's what? got your name on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Joetta Stephen. Uh huh. And she's got all kinds of strawberry things. She's got mountaineer things, primitive. So you, you can just find all kinds of good things. Yes. Yes, you have a good time. Candy Thank people. You. Candy people, yes. My husband makes those. He does. Uh -huh. OK. Thank you. Thank you. This is. Hot holder heaven over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these neat. Now this one here's your strawberry pot holder and your. Uh, this is really neat. You just put this on your oven door or, yes. or, or across a. a we have two knob. Yeah, they, they they don't get lost. We have all kinds of material. I think there's placemats. There's just a little bit of everything in here, and I have no idea where the person is. But we're going to showcase a little bit. Look here at the strawberry pins. Aren't these pretty? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I would say these are for the little tykes. Look at this. All colors of strawberries with beads, and they're elastic. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's at the next one. I 
Oh, I we think have five each, minutes. I think each one of these um, displays have to have at least something in the strawberry. Ooh, I like that one. Isn't that pretty? This is a hypoallergenic Australian crystal. Pam's Craft. Austrian. What did I say? Australian. Austrian. I hate to correct you on camera, but that's all. Well, Austrian. okay. Hypoallergenic Austrian crystal with a titanium post. Yeah. And those are strawberries. But And look at the little tops on the seat. The Let seeds me get are... a... Yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're really pretty. Mm -hmm. Just some beautiful jewelry here. Let's go around and look at some of these bugs. There's a strawberry with a bug on it. These are handmade fused glass pendants. And she also has ribbon necklaces. I'll tell you what, there's some really neat crafters over here at the Strawberry Festival Arts and Craft Show. And if you get an opportunity to come, we're open on Friday and Saturday from uh, 10 in the morning until uh, 7 in the evening. That's in the Rockefeller Gym at West Virginia Wesleyan College. So we're going to take another trip around the other side of the arts and crafts, so you stay tuned. We'll be right back.